So here's my little prototype setup for testing 3D printed gears. So I built this housing to hold five gears. These have already been tested, so some of the teeth are missing, or actually quite a lot of teeth are missing. So in this test, I want to try and find the highest speed. And each ratio of these gears is 1 to 2.3. Over 5 gears, that is 1 to 29.6. So if I input 8400 RPM, I'll theoretically get a quarter million on the output. Now I don't expect to get this with plastic gears, but I'm going to find the best material, the best gear profile, and all the best lubricating medium, and also test you know, different levels of the lubricating medium to see how it affects it. I've got this um, voltmeter, which corresponds to the input RPM. So at 90 volt, we get 5200 RPM. And at 146 volt, we get a 8400. Uh, and so long this motor isn't still accelerating, our voltage will correspond to that RPM. And I've also designed this so it's modular. So currently, this is just to find the highest speed. But once I'm happy with my gears, I can then convert this to an output shaft, which I've got a really cool project in mind for that. And then once I've done testing top speed, I'm gonna test just low down torque. So I've got this hydraulic pump, which I can restrict the flow and test some gears that way. And then powering this is, I've got a Variac, which converts 110 volt in from anywhere to zero to 140 volt AC out. That's converted to DC with this bridge rectifier, which is kind of undersized for this. Uh, I keep blowing these, I just forgot to order some. Um, and then that powers our motor. So I theoretically can get 200 volts DC and that works out about 11,500 RPM. Um, but I'm gonna limit that to 8,400 because I don't wanna destroy my motor. And for each test, I want it to be consistent. So I've got this little geared motor, which is then gonna to couple to this, and then this gear couples to the Variac. So once this is a set speed, I'm hoping it's gonna turn it up from zero to 146 volt in about two minutes. And then there's gonna be some micro switches on here with stops. So I always hit the maximum speed every time. And then I'm also gonna put a counter on this very last gear. And whichever gear achieves the most revolutions will be the best set of gears. And then these are all the gears I've gone through. Just different designs, trying to find the best measurements. So now all these are meshing properly, they all fit. So, here are a couple of videos of it working.
So I was hoping to blow some gears up, but instead the teeth melted. Um, but I still got some fairly high RPMs there. So I'm kind of thinking some kind of lubricated medium, even just basic water is going to cool the teeth down and will achieve a higher speed. But right now I'm just testing it out. Um, hopefully in the next video I'll have this automatic system done. I'll have a stronger bridge rectifier and uh, we'll go from there. And maybe check out my channel. I'm going to do a lot more projects. I do CNC machining, some welding, some lady stuff. Um, I got some other interesting projects on the way. So I've got some engine stuff. Um, I'm doing a 100% billet car. So I've got lots of metal to play with. And then of course, I've got a lot of 3D printed gears to make. Um, I estimate is, there's about 3,000 upwards and we will make some explode. So subscribe and I'll see you later.